Ari, Andy, and today we are checking in the students. We're starting with station number one that's outside, station number two. We're checking in their names, getting their rooms assigned, making sure they have the right room assignment. They're going to fill out a few forms, take it to station number three. We'll, they'll turn in the forms. After that, they'll get their key assignment, and we're going to get them some cards, and they're going to get to moving in. Are you excited? Great. for Start Smart and New Student Convocation. Hi, welcome to Laker Hall. This is room 113. <laughs> My name is Jamie Taylor and I'm a senior here. And I am currently the lead RA. And today we're just really focused on getting these freshmen moved in. You know, coordinating with the volunteers and getting other staff members and staff involved. I just want to show you a little bit about what a typical suite looks like for our freshman students or any student that lives here in Laker Hall. Um, there are two bedrooms on each side, an A, B side and a C, D side, and they both, two people share a bathroom. So there's four bedrooms, two baths in each suite. Um, they have a common area right over here. Um, typically, you know, they put a TV out here, just kind of hang out. Um, the little kitchenette area. Um, is right here and they have a full-size refrigerator and microwave. Right here we have one of our phenomenal freshmen. My name is Shadon Clinton. All morning I've been getting my room together as you can see. Um, it's like extremely hot outside but clearly we got it done so I'm just happy. And I'm glad they moved in. And behind you is the restrooms and that's where two people share but other than that I mean those these are the suites. Okay, we are sitting in one of our amazing study rooms. Um, there's two on each floor, with the exception of the first floor, and there's a huge room down there. Um, our guest policy is pretty strict. You're allowed to stay overnight, six nights total, one person, um, and not more than two consecutive nights in a row. Guests have to be checked in at the front desk and we have to take their ID. Um, there are also RAs responsible for in between 18 and 24 residents, and they're just on the individual floors with them to kind of be there to, to guide them and be that parent kind of away from home. Here in Laker Hall, we have a lot of different amenities that add to the front desk, and that includes the laundry room. There's a lot of washers and dryers. <laughs> um, that we have the kitchen, but if you don't know how to cook, don't try. If you need to cook something, ask someone. Because the fire alarm, when it goes off, nobody's gonna be happy. There's a game room that has a TV, it's a big one, and a pool table and ping pong and just different stuff to do. There's also like a sitting area down there for everybody to kind of spend time together and get to know each other. But our main focus is to kind of build a community and welcome everyone into the Clayton State family. My name is Edward Parks. I am a resident assistant here at Laker Hall. And the list goes on to what I do. I guess you could say <laughs> I'm the do-it-all guy. I'm the SGA president. I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, former orientation leader, and the list goes on and on and on <laughs> and on. <laughs> we might be involved a little. A little. But we wanted to tell you a little bit about the travel time here on campus. And once you walk out those amazing doors right there, you can get pretty much anywhere on campus in less than 10 minutes. Ten, so, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. So there is no need to fight for parking spaces. Freshman students and parents <laughs> might be concerned about safety here on campus, but we will let you know we have public safety here. If you need them, you can call them at 678-466-4050. Four zero five zero. Um, at night, as you will see right here, this is our lovely guard shack. These gates close at 11 o'clock, and anyone that comes on campus after 11 has to show ID, whether it be your student ID or a license, and there's a camera there. So if you try to just sneak on by, the camera's got your tag. They'll see you. Yep, <laughs> they will get you. Also located throughout campus, we have what we call safety boxes. You simply click a button, a blue light comes on, and an officer shows up within mi within seconds, minutes, they'll be there. <laughs> because a phone call is made from those boxes to dispatch, and dispatch will be there quickly. I was one of those freshmen that just couldn't understand why I needed to come here. You know, I was perfectly fine living at home with my parents, but moving on campus was probably the best thing that I could have done 
in my collegiate career. Um, it's opened up so many doors, so many opportunities. Um, I jumped right in to be an orientation leader and the next year to be in an RA. So it just offers a lot of different, different networking opportunities and things that you can get involved in. Yeah, I was definitely the same way coming in as a freshman and I was also a student athlete. So it was kind of required that I be on campus. But I started realizing that it allowed me to get to practice on time, work out with the coaches 24-7, and just become an overall better student. I definitely think it has enhanced me as a person. And like Jamie said, it got me involved. I went from being an orientation leader to a student government senator, and now I'm the student government president.